Peggy 12. Searching for an ally, but why should we listen to you? As single beings, you roam the galaxies, each one searching, but never reaching any destination. What could you teach us? We are one with the worlds you are only exploiting and destroying. Born from the stars, we live in a symbiosis with the planets. We are part of the universe. To what purpose should we put your technology as the only knowledge we are striving for is that about the key to life itself. We are the Ha'aron and the Soror, unique in our diversity, unified in our mind. We are Arthrox. We do not need you. Born to walk between the stars, such would be our name in your language. That is what we were called by the Forgotten. We have to thank them for what we are. They created us, before they abandoned us and left. For as long as we can remember, we live on planets as well as in the void of space between them. Our various forms, the ability to adapt our bodies to our surroundings, enabled us to travel to distant worlds and to become one with them. The Forgotten helped us in our evolution, taught us to tread paths that would have otherwise been hidden in the dark. In return, we became their guards. We accompanied them on their journeys, watched over young civilizations for them. Soon enough, however, we found out that not every race knew how to appreciate their presence. Some of the races used their gifts against us. Although we still fulfilled the tasks that were given to us, doubts began to fill our hearts. How did these other races deserve the kindness of the Forgotten? Should not we be the only chosen people? Without a word of warning, they suddenly disappeared and became a part of the past. They became the Forgotten. We stayed behind and had to witness how war tore the peoples of our home sector asunder after they left. We could not prevent the war. But we managed to protect our planets and to drive every foreign power out of our territory. We learned to avoid other races and to regard them as what they had always been, our enemies. But we underestimated our foes. Without really knowing the reason, our people split apart. Our distrust grew to a point where we could not even trust our own tribes. When the attack finally arrived, we were weak, separated from each other, lost, helpless. We had to watch as one queen after another was annihilated, for we had erred. Our enemies were not lingering beyond our borders. They were amongst us. <laughs>